please don't forget to subscribe and activate the bell to receive everything that's new when this photographer was bitten by a deadly snake he risked his life by continuing the shoot it had been interesting photographing the deadly snakes and so far he had been well prepared this snake was so laid back though unlike some of the others he'd snapped suddenly all that changed he looked down and saw the venomous serpent fangs deep in his thigh Mark Leda is a photographer who had been in the industry for more than 20 years during that time he's made an impression in the world of advertising in fact he's worked with some of the world's leading advertising agencies Leda's unique photography has appeared in campaigns for Adidas BMW and even technology giant Apple no doubt the experience helped when he started releasing his own books the first of which arrived in 2010 but in recent years Leda became known for a different reason altogether Leda was working on another book which he called serpentine my intention was to explore color shape and movement using snakes as a subject he told wired on February 22nd 2013 but of course her pathologist will probably enjoy these photographs as well as a result Leda traveled across the US and photographed all kinds of snakes but it wasn't just the deadly ones he was interested in I shot everything from the most venomous in inland Taipan to a harmless garter snake Leda explained while he was photographing his subjects Leda wore protective gear appropriate for each snake he took the utmost care especially when dealing with the most dangerous for example the King Cobra which Leda thinks is the most dangerous was too lethal to remove from its protective box however when it came for Leda to photograph an African black mamba events quickly took a turn for the worse snakes generally try to avoid humans so mamba bites are rare even so few serpents in Africa are as feared as the black mamba people in South Africa refer to the black mamba's bite as the kiss of death on account of its lethality and yet the one Leda witnessed with its handler was initially very docile he described the encounter to strange behaviors on February 24th 2013 according to Leda the keeper was handling the black mamba like you would a boa the photographer attributed the snakes laid-back nature to its advanced age he was a really calm cool snake an old snake not a young excitable one he said Although Leda had worn protective gear when snapping some of his subjects this time he was in shorts He explained that it was to prevent the noise of his long pants from spooking the snake It was also to avoid something nasty that handlers had warned him about to be more precise They said the worst thing is when a snake climbs up your pant leg as it happened Everything seemed to be going fine when the mamba's handler laid the snake down on the black photo shoot ground There seemed to be no reason to be alarmed indeed the snake coiled around Leda's ankle quite contently well, he took pictures after a flurry of shots the handler used a snake hook to remove the mamba But in doing so it caught a hanging cable and things went drastically wrong The commotion was enough to scare the snake into striking but Leda didn't even feel the sharp fangs pierce his leg It was only when the mamba's handler said dude you got hit that he realized he'd been bitten Then he noticed the blood the blood was gushing out the photographer recalled but his actual response was oh f Apart from his wound, which was bleeding profusely, Leda said he didn't feel any differently. Naturally, the handler was concerned and asked how the photographer was coping. I said, I'm not happy about getting bitten by the snake, but I'm fine. After 20 minutes, Leda still hadn't had any adverse reaction, but his wound was nasty. The snake's fangs had pierced an artery and the pumping blood had filled his footwear. As time passed by, all Leda was left with was a bruise and a lot of pain. It seemed he'd had a lucky escape from the venom. He didn't even go to the hospital which the photographer himself admits was a stupid move Subsequently the picture of the black mamba biting Leda's leg garnered a lot of attention for his book serpentine Some claimed it was all a publicity stunt and that he'd used a venomless snake, but Leda refuted this Apparently it took a day to realize he even had the photo Another explanation for Leda's lucky escape is that his rapidly flowing blood washed the wound clean of venom Leda said Maybe it bit me without injecting venom to hold it for something was going to eat and it obviously wasn't going to eat me Regardless the outcome of an encounter with such a potentially lethal snake could have ended much more tragically Experts advise that if a snake bites you you should seek medical attention immediately Furthermore, you should always assume there's venom in the wound Never wash the wound or try to suck the venom of the bite yourself The presence of the venom is needed to identify the snake and administer the correct treatment for his part Leda wants to forget the whole thing I just want it to go away and not talk about it anymore he concluded